gotta talk about how we wear uh, I don't know what you call these track pants or jumpsuit really baggy um, work pants that uh, that are actually higher waisted I always go for a higher waist because they accentuate your um, your legs and give you a bit of proportion um, this one has a, a tying on the ankle which is pretty nice and keep you sort of warm as well right, let's get into it well first up you know simple white tee with uh, with uh, simple shoes bit of a black detailing I think go for uh, a chunkier shoes when you have this situation because you're um, you have a pretty baggy pants right so you're gonna want to have something bigger uh, to complement that if you have a converse on it's just gonna look too small and squashed so you still want to have that beefiness on the bottom with the pants have an oversized shirt to complement the, the shell of the pants don't go for something really tight and if you can find some detailing uh, that goes with the, the pants like the red here uh, that helps as well Next up, I throw on a shirt. I chose a shirt that has this orange hue to it and a bit of purple, blue. But the important thing is that it's got this orange stripe within the shirt that sort of ties it back into the, the pants here. So that's important. Uh, when you mix colors, try to at least have something in that color that talks to the primary color here. All right. Can wear an open sleeve um, like this, or roll it up, or either way, um, you can roll it up just on one side. That's what I tend to do, and keep it drapey, keep it simple. jacket on which really works well with the pants because they are all sort of uh, in similar hues and a um, bit of pastel but not really pastel uh, a kind of darker pa pastel sort of palette I think these two hues kind of complement each other pretty well um, you know for a black tee keep it wide you know, that's important if you have some color at the back that kind of in the same hue as the pants you know always keep those highlighted color matching your pants the black works nicely I think work better than the white shirt because of the black socks and the black highlight on the shoes Next up, I've got the uh, uh, olive green, really dark green over shirt. That complements the, obviously this, I don't know, it's very hard to call this color. I used to have a car that's in this color, to be honest. And I, I know the color, it's that fruit, but I can't recall the fruit now. So, but um, yeah, they complement each other because they're in a darker shade and both earthy tone. Keep your shirt black in this case. Keep everything kind of muted and um, in a darker hue. Ah, 
So you can also throw on something lighter that probably takes away a little bit of the, uh, the brightness of the, the pants here. All right. So you want to keep it sort of um, still in the same color range because this works really, really well with the shoe here because they are both off-white with a bit of a cream. If you look at it in detail, um, the, the, the shirt and the shoe sort of works perfectly. Um, plus the black and the shoes on and the black on the shoes. All right, so the top and the bottom works really well. And then you have what's in between the, the pants here, all right, that sort of sh shines through, but still framed and boxed up with the shirt and the, sh uh, the overshirt and t-shirt plus the shoes with the cream white and black, all right. shoulder or um, you wear oversized quite a lot and then you sort of complement each other through this sort of um, the width you're creating uh, there's another way to do it is having really skinny uh, pants with wider top what doesn't work too well is when you don't go skinny enough and you just have these uh, pants or uh, not pants or but just normal pants more traditional width with a baggy um, or your upper frame being boxy uh, that doesn't work too well you want to complement each other or either go really extreme contrast or having it in the same sort of character all right so there's a couple of ways to uh, style these sort of pants Ho hopefully that's you know helpful for you uh, let me know what you think comment down below uh, like and subscribe. All right. Um, I see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>